Welcome again to Hariba Raman Academy. In this edition, what we'd like to do is to present how Raman imaging can reveal the spatial variation in solid state structure in uh, semiconductors, in particular uh, integrated electronic devices. What you see here, here over on the right, that is, is a reflected light image of a silicon test structure that consists of silicon, single crystal silicon, as well as silicon grown on top, some oxides, uh, polysilicon, the pink area is a polysilicon 1, we'll call it, and the lighter area is a polysilicon 2. And uh, over here is the Raman image that corresponds to the re reflected light image in the upper left hand corner is the entire hyperspectral data set and over in the upper right hand corner you'll see the individual spectrum associated with the uh, location of, of the cursor that you see right now. Now what we've done is to by mapping generate a Raman image of approximately 15 micrometers wide and 50 that's 50 micrometers tall and uh, this was using 532 nanometer excitation moving the stage in 200 nanometer increments and with an integration time of 500 uh, milliseconds so this spectrum that you see here and all the spectra that you see each one was acquired in 500 milliseconds all right, well, as we move the cursor around down below here, we see that the spectrum with the red bracket is essentially around the 520.7 reciprocal centimeter band of uh, the substrate silicon. And now we move over onto an oxide. And then this dark area, you see that's an implant. That's where arsenic has been ion implanted into the silicon uh, as, a, as a dopant. And as a result of that, the intensity of the first order phonon mode from the Brillon zone center is significantly reduced. And then you also see this Raman scattering from the amorphized portion of the silicon. So when an implant occurs, it basically disrupts the long range translational symmetry. And so you have a major decrease in the Raman scattering strength. All right, and as now as we move, th move through our device here we're going over the poly, different polysilicon structures and as you can see as I'm moving the cursor here and if you look in the upper right hand corner you can see variations in the in, in the peak positions and in the band shapes and again over an implant polysilicon and big differences right at the polysilicon interfaces and the implant now you notice I have a, a green bracket here and this green bracket will allow us to put an emphasis on the polysilicon and its Raman shifts that are to lower energy principally due to uh, strain and uh, small uh, grain or domain size. So if we click on the green bracket for our image now what we see is essentially the polysilicon highlighted in our image and if you'll notice here you could see these bright little flecks in the polysilicon that happen to correspond to the very same kind of pepper that you see in the reflected light image of the polysilicon and as we move to the edges you could see there is a substantial amount of strain in the polysilicon uh, at, at the very edge edge of the device as manifest by this very strong uh, strongly shifted to lower energy Raman scattering. And in fact to uh, get an idea of how the, uh, well uh, let's look at the full image. Let's maximize our window and now you can see uh, here again those little flecks and you see the spatial variation then in the uh, in the strain and the domain size from the polysilicon. Now, let me go back a moment to the uh, uh, to our image, and you see that on the implants, 
there is, as I mentioned before, there's substantial Raman scattering in the area of amorphous silicon. And so if we take a green to green to blue ratio, then the implants should appear fairly dark. And in fact, that's what we see. And uh, let's blow up this image again, just like we were looking at the green. Now you can see even more clearly the implant regions, okay, because they're so dark. And then those areas of strain, both at the interfaces between the polysilicon, such as over here, and at the very edges of the polysilicon to the silicon substrate, they show up very nicely by using these uh, by using these silicon band ratios. So I hope this has been helpful to you in getting some insight into how you can use the high spectral and spatial resolution of micro Raman spectroscopy to spatially resolve uh, heterogeneity in solid state structure, particularly ion implantation, strain, and domain size.